If you prefer a wired connection for your Fire Stick, you can connect an Ethernet cable for faster speeds. Using a gigabit Ethernet adapter can provide even faster speeds than the official Amazon adapter, which is capped at 100 megabits per second. You can find more information on this in another video through the link above or in the description below. However, sometimes adding a wired connection can create issues, such as the connection not being recognized. If you experience this issue, don't worry, in this video I will guide you through some tips to help your Fire Stick recognize a wired connection. So let's go and check them out. It's really important to protect your sensitive information while using the internet. The good news is that NordVPN can help keep your data safe and secure. Plus, Nord is more than just a VPN, with added benefits such as freeing you from any streaming restrictions. Don't miss out on the best VPN deal available right now. Check out the links provided in the description to get started and stay protected. One of the most common reasons why a wired connection is not recognized on a Fire Stick is due to insufficient power supply. This issue usually arises when users are powering their Fire Stick through the USB port located at the back of their TV. If this is the case for you, make sure to connect the Fire Stick to a wall outlet using the power cable and power supply. This should solve the problem in most cases. Once you power everything back up, the wired connection should be recognized instantly. Next, check if the HDMI port on your TV is functioning correctly. You can do this by trying to plug your Fire Stick into a different HDMI port if there's one available on your TV. If not, Another option is to test your Fire Stick on another TV to see if the issue persists. Sometimes switching the HDMI port that your Fire Stick is plugged into can help fix the issue of the Ethernet connection not being recognized. This is because some HDMI ports may have different capabilities or settings that can affect the connectivity of certain devices. By trying different ports, you may find one that works with a wired connection. Now, the following tip may seem silly, but it has been proven to work in many cases. To begin, disconnect everything, including the power cord, Ethernet cable, disconnect the OTG cable or adapter if you're using one, and remove the Fire Stick from your TV. Wait at least one minute before reconnecting everything. I know it's difficult to wait sometimes, but waiting the entire minute is essential as it helps to completely reset the connection and a wired connection can now be established. Ethernet adapters and hubs can occasionally malfunction without any apparent reason, causing a loss of internet connectivity. One solution to this issue is to replace the problematic adapter with a new one. If you're uncertain about which adapter to purchase, I've listed some recommendations in the description and pinned comment section below. If none of these fixes have worked so far, there could be another very simple solution to try that might help. Another common reason why your wired connection may not be recognized is because of loose connections. This may seem trivial, but it can work for some people. If you're using an OTG cable or adapter and a USB hub, such as the Ugreen adapter, try giving the connections a slight wiggle or pull it apart slightly. Connections can sometimes be temperamental and a tiny adjustment can help to fix the issue. I hope this video has helped 
after following these steps, let me know in the comments section below which one fixed the issue for your Fire Stick not recognizing the wired connection. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and helps to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. And I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow. Don't forget that online privacy and security are more important now than ever before. And NordVPN is an excellent choice. I use it almost every day to help me unblock internet restrictions when streaming such as this. With NordVPN connected, I can watch the content I enjoy from anywhere. You can easily download and install NordVPN's user-friendly app on all your devices, including Firestick, by searching for it in your app store. With NordVPN, simply connect to any one of their servers to ensure that your online activities are unrestricted and protected from prying eyes and potential cyber threats. The Nord app has some very useful features for your Fire Stick, including threat protection to help keep your device safe from potential security threats by blocking access to malicious websites. Plus, AutoConnect makes connecting to a secure server a breeze by automatically connecting to a network without having to manually do it every time you want to use the internet. Split tunneling lets you choose which apps or websites use the VPN connection and which ones use your regular internet connection. These settings and features are essential for anyone who wants to have a secure and personalized online experience. Check out the links in the video description for the best deals and try it now completely risk-free for 30 days. Waiting the entire minute is essential as it helps to reset the completely clipper tool. It's chucking it down with rain outside and someone is sawing down a tree. On a Sunday. On a Sunday. The end. Oh,